Will one of these iconic tapes teach me the secrets of eternal wellness in youth? Or will I succumb to the oppressive weight of mortal dread, curling into a fetal position and weeping into my party-sized bag of chili cheese Fritos? Three separate tapes. And only one goat to view them all. That's right, folks. Tighten your buttocks. Use your tummy. Today we're going to talk about... Senior Workout Tapes! Now it probably looks like this some pretty pose. Look it is. I think femininity and sexuality go hand in hand. God in his wisdom broke the day into 24 hours so you could always have a new beginning. My entire existence is pain! My ankle! My knee! My ass! My ass hurts a lot. That's right, folks. Agent ain't no picnic. And it's slowly happening to all of us. We are all gradually becoming bones. It's our charge in life to find the least uncomfortable path through this valley of death. And unfortunately, in order to do that, it takes a lot of hard work and discipline. Boo! Hard work sucks! Still, I often wonder to myself how one could possibly achieve the longevity of, say, a, a Jimmy Carter or an Eva Marie Saint. That's why today I'll be watching three separate workout tapes designed for seniors. By the end of this video, we are going to figure out which one of these tapes is the most practical, low impact, and easy to follow. For our disintegrated, rotten old brains and buns, we will also be deciding which one of these three tapes is the most cumbersome and likely to cause damage to fragile hip bones. Now that we've established the parameters of our little contest, let's talk about those tapes, shall we? Are you ready to get fit, flexible, and perhaps a tiny bit horny? First up on our roster of retirees, she's here to help us break in our old tendons. Today we're going to talk about... Stretching for Seniors! And here we have the tape, everybody. I appreciate the color scheme. It's like a mauve. We have Ann Smith kind of just, you know, in a non, like, just stretching, stretching that rib cage. There's a whole lot of flailing in this video, so I assume that she is mid flail. After a thorough inspection of all sides, no barcode. On the back, you can see a synopsis that is filled with lies. And, you know, we'll get into that later on. You'll see. Here's a profile. I guess Ann Smith is a renowned dancer who has been educating people for a long time in her her ways of the flailing. And and today she's gonna teach us old timers how to do it. Good job, Annie. Annie, pop that sleeve off. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. We have the title stamped right onto the tape. And if you look over right here, we got a runtime going on, folks. You know, from an external perspective, this is a great looking tape. Very promising. There you have it, everybody. The tape. Ann Smith is a fitness instructor and a scholar of dance. Ann has a reputation of being an absolute master in simple, low-impact exercise routines that'll keep your granny feeling straight loosey-goosey, my guy. Alrighty, Ann Smith, let's see your stuff. Our tape begins with somber classical jams, while Ann comes right on in gyrating. Anyway, she says she's gonna blow through the routine and then explain it afterwards. I'm going to show you now the basic 10 minute group of stretch exercises that we do every day and then I'll explain them afterwards. So things get rolling and Ann just straight goes. She progresses through a series of elegant flailings and truth be told, it is shot very artfully. None of this really comes off like a stretching routine. This almost seems more just like a straight up dance. Like I would be at a serious disadvantage attempting this routine. Lady, if you think that I can lift my foot over my head like that, you're dreaming. I can feel my sciatic nerve pinching me already. Then Anne gets into the instructional portion and, and I can tell you, it's a mess. It's just a mess. First of all, there's no pattern or order to her instruction. She kind of just jumps all over the map and they definitely spared some expense on the onset audio. 
Now, a lot of these exercises look like the ones that you do in a gymnasium, in a workout, even Notice though they're now. taken from the dancer's warm-up. See, when you're coming from the back up you're lifting and pulling in, high. it's fantastic. This is what makes these exercises. Keep your eyes on your hand as it goes around so that you don't get dizzy. Not exactly easy for old ears to hear. There's also these really random interjections of Anne on a completely different set that just kind of pop up every once in a while. Push, pull. For this series, we'll use this exercise where we start way up high, come down in your contraction. Which I'm guessing is like some sort of addendum to address things that she like missed in her instruction. Anyway, she bulldozes through the instruction and we get to some kind of demonstration of movement principles. Now I'm gonna show you how to take these exercises and walk them across the floor so that they become part of your own body style. We'll go back to that beginning music and walk across the floor so that when you come out of your living room and go off to work, it'll be part of you. No idea what any of that means, but okay. And so on. And so on. Then she does more flailing around, this time in a skirt. I guess in the end we feel stretched for seniors. The end. Thank you, Ann Smith. Uh, this is, uh, this is great. On to the next street! You know her from the famed Broadway musical, Maine. And some other things, too. Needs no introduction. Today, we're gonna talk about... Angela Lansbury's positive moves. And here we have the tape, everybody. Angela Lansbury in the midst of a joyous celebration. Her, every day of her life is a celebration. Uh, famed actress Angela Lansbury, who was in the, the Broadway musical Mame. She was in the movie Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. And uh, she was the teapot uh, in Beauty and the Beast. So we we all have come into contact with Miss Lansbury. It says right here in the corner that it supposedly comes with a free exercise poster. I didn't get no poster, so I'm bummed. After a thorough inspection, what have we here? A barcode! So I could go buy this in Wegmans. It's easy to make positive moves a positive part of your day, every day. Who could question that face? She, I would love her to be my grandma. Label's a little shitty. The, the color scheme's kind of clashing a little bit with the design of the slip cover. So I would say aesthetically, it's not gelling as well as, say, a stretching for seniors did. And there we have it, everybody. The tape. I mean, what is there to say? Angela Lansbury, she's a legendary Hollywood icon, and this is her day-to-day -day routine that keeps her eternally youthful, and she's here to share it with you. It starts off with a straight banger. And wouldn't you know, we are greeted to an elegant introduction from the lady herself, the love of my life, Angela Lansenberries. Oh, hello. I'm so happy you could join me. You know, one of the questions that I most often asked is, how do you manage to work as hard as you do and still maintain your health and energy? First up, Angie gets all lathered up and prepares herself a little self-massage. I have a little routine that helps me to swing into action each morning. After I get out of the shower, I give myself a mini massage with aloe lotion. By doing this massage every day, I am literally staying in touch with my body. Wait a second, you're telling me that I can give myself a massage? Why have I been paying all these Thai chicks to walk on my broken back? I'll tell you why. The thrill of it. That's why. Anyway, dish out some of that jergens and get rubbing. Once you've really examined your body, you have faced the moment of truth. <laughs> of course, we're all a product of our genetic heritage and certain things we cannot alter. But I do think that self-acceptance is vital. Give yourself a break. There's something to like in everybody. 
already getting at me with the wholesome sweet messages? I didn't expect to get a heart massage too. What a value. I take these few moments to focus on the day ahead. I think about each demand that will present itself in the coming day, and I visualize myself meeting it easily and well. Then we get to the flailing. Now open your arms and reach to the side. Don't arch your back. Feel that nice long stretch through your waist. Reach back and let your head turn and follow your arm. About this time, I'm beginning to feel a great sense of release and exhilaration. When I first began dancing as a child, the Isadora Duncan School of Greek dancing was all the rage. And we would prance around wearing those funny little tunics. I guess when it comes to senior workout tapes, flailing is synonymous with gentle exercise. You know, the neck carries so much of our tension, so it's very important to warm up that area before we do more stretches. She wants me to warm up my neck, but guess what? I ain't doing it. I like the sound of my crackling vertebras. Ol' Angie is just straight stretching it up over every square inch of her beautiful home. And you know what? I love it. She's straight up giving me hope for better things to come. If I'm forced to do something sedentary, such as studying lines or talking on the phone, when I've finished, I'll take a walk around the garden or just down the street, just to get myself moving again. Even a short walk can balance those parts of the day when you have to sit. Angie, she then finishes up her day with a meditative and uh, sensual bath. I think femininity and sexuality go hand in hand. It used to be thought that women lose interest in sex after menopause, but now we know that just isn't true. Which I gotta tell you makes me feel some complicated feelings. You can keep romance in your life. I believe it's important for a woman to try and maintain a certain sense of mystery about herself. And I think that can continue to any age. Make no mistake, this valley has never been greener. Now, if you're like me, you're coming to a realization. You're finally discovering that thing you have for Angela Lansbury that you never knew you had. Anyway, while we battle with that, Angela is gonna leave us with a wholesome message. I feel the better you take care of yourself, the more you can bring to your relationships with your husband, your children, your grandchildren, all the people in your life. By being involved in life in a hopeful way, you reward yourself. And your enthusiasm is very compelling for others to be around. There are lots of things that I haven't had a chance yet to do in my life. I have so much to look forward to. And so do you. With that, on to the next POS. <sighs> Folks, you've been waiting. Probably not really. But uh, we've got ourselves a returning member of the Tape Goat Hall of Fame. They've got style, they've got personality, and they're here to keep your desiccated old tuchus moving. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming back to the show the one, the only, Dancing Grannies, Mature Fitness, Trim and Tone. And here we have the tape, everybody. Fair warning, none of these adorable outfits are actually featured in the tape, which is a disappointing thing. But, you know, Bev, she looks like she's having a good time, and we always enjoy watching Bev have herself a good time. She's a good lady. Uh, we love you, Bev. Here are the grannies. They're not floating in an abyss of pink like the original cover. Everything about this seems to be like maybe a little bit of a downgrade. Maybe they were in a little bit of a sophomore slump for this one. Barcode, baby. We got two tapes with barcodes on them this time around. What does that mean? It means cha-ching. By the way, this was picked up in Savers in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We've got a brief synopsis going on over here and a shout out to the American Heart Association. Uh, these, uh, you know, like we established, these grannies are angels and they are here to save us all. Let's reveal the, what's underneath this, this sl slip cover here. 
we got two tapes with the title stamped onto the actual tape. We also got another tape that's given us the runtime, which I greatly appreciate. I think runtimes, you know, they put they put me at ease. They they let me know what I'm in for, which you know allows me to prepare my poor neurodivergent brain. And there we have it, everybody. The tape. The grannies are back, people. Last time we saw our grannies, it was on the most freaking gonzo-ass workout tape set one could ask for. I'm sorry to say, this time around, they didn't quite nail it so well. Sure, it's all right, looks peaceful, suitable for any of the many members of the dense population of Arizona retirees. But where is your tiny chair, Beverly? How can you grannies dance without your tiny chair? It's absurd. Bev's gonna give a little pep talk before we get dancing. Hi, I'm Beverly of the Dancing Grannies. God in his wisdom broke the day into 24 hours so you could always have a new beginning. This is a new day. Let's have a new beginning. Hey, I think here come the grannies. Let's relax that body. See, now even already the pacing is just off. Beverly, you're just bulldozing through this thing. You need to hit the brakes. Where's the suspense? And she's off her mark. All right, grannies, let's recover. Let's, let us use our tummies. Now, just sway that body. You know, I'm always talking about lengthening the spine so we have twinkling eyes with plenty of oxygen to that brain. I'm not entirely sure that's how that works, Beverly, but... I guess I'm just gonna have to trust you on this one. We are then greeted by what I can only hope becomes a new bevism. You are woman. You are woman. Here we go, pump. I'm good. Now I want you to say it. I'm good. I'm really good. I'm really good. Okay, that's super cute. This is the dance and granny's action that we've been looking for. Now raise this one heel, sit down, get down, press back, feel the pressure. The sexy sax was an interesting choice. I mean, I'm, I'm picking up what they're putting down. Much like the prior video, there is one point in the video where Bev really starts turning up the heat. You know shit is serious when they bust out those fucking phone books. We're gonna work with telephone books. Don't you work with one the first time, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to tape them. They're all different sizes. Don't tell the telephone company. Better not make them mad. And she really gets a lot out of this one prop. It's pretty remarkable. Bevy explains to us how important it is to exercise your brain. Bring it across. Working left brain, right brain when you two do two different patterns. Having her own little mini stroke in the process. They go into a stretch on top of what appear to be bear skins. Push-ups. Different way. Book. Now Patty here has arthritis, so she's going to use a fist on her book. Her wrists hurt. Rest of us are going to do it flat. Cut your elbows. She almost sounds irritated when singling out Patty's arthritis. Like, like she's going to knock off the symmetry or something. We finalize everything with a patented dance and granny's powwow with the goyles. Um, each one of these girls have a little tip that they can tell you has helped them along in life. Hi, I'm here to tell you that all of us are not born tall, long-legged, blonde, and beautiful. Some of us are short and have a weight problem. I say, what do you mean by saying blonde and slim? How about tall, slim, and gray? I'm Arlene, I'm 69, and I've been married 47 years. Okay, grannies, I don't know if much of this is coming through as tips or advice, as much as just useless random facts. I'm Jane, I turned 60 this year. About nine years ago, I quit smoking. In the process, gained 20 unwanted pounds, and I can tell you, exercise is great for losing weight. Exercise? Good for weight loss? Gee, who would have thought, Jane? <laughs> 
what do you think, girls? Did we do it? They did it. I'll tell you one thing that they did deliver on, and that's the talk of tummy. Tighten your tummy, tummy tight. Tighten your tummy, tummy. Tummy tight, tummy tight. Tummy, use your tummy. Tummy, tummy, tummy. Tummy, tummy tightens. Tummy, tummy tight. Tummy, tummy, tummy again. Tummy, tummy, tummy. Tummy, 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 tummy. So them's the tapes, folks. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna reflect on which one of these shits is the goodest. Unexpected result of watching these back to back, I feel very encouraged. This whole experience has been great. Tell you what, go over to my second channel, The Tape Goat's Cave, and watch all three in full and you'll see what I mean. Stretching for Seniors barely functions at an instructional level and features what might be the most charmless fitness instructor of the three. Watch the torso because what's happening is that you're pushing out and pulling in. And not to mention impractical for most within the age group. Hey, guess what, Ann Smith? Not everyone is a PhD in dance, you bitch. Angela Lansbury's positive moves made a real impact, not only because of its enthusiastic and engaging instruction from Angie, but also aesthetically. This project is simply gorgeous. Not to mention that the message is heartwarming and truly inclusive to all ages. Plus, Angie taking a bath gave me a funny feeling. Dancing Granny's trim and tone was a somewhat underwhelming follow-up to its aesthetically superior predecessor, Dancing Granny's Mature Fitness, Beginners. That goes for most qualities of the production. The location isn't bad, but it's not all that striking either. And the costumes just don't do it for me. The instruction is fine, I like Bev's sincere little comments, you know, they're great. Floating hands, hands, so marvelous. They're beautiful. They're strong, they help you reach. Ultimately not bad. Here we are folks, we've calmly reflected, taken several deep breaths, ordered takeout, got distracted playing video games, but now we're here, ready to decide which of these three senior workout tapes is the overall best and most effective. Everyone give it up for today's winner. Angela Lansbury's Positive Moves. Sorry, Bev, you know I love you. I, you. You were my first fitness granny. But Angela, she is just a tour de force of elegance. I was never considered a beauty, but theatrically I can project the illusion of great glamour, even though I'm not a glamorous woman at all. And you've got your work cut out for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I am Tape Goat and Remember. I want to eat sweet cherries with you by the riverside in the summertime.